residents of a Flower Mound neighborhood that has been scarred by excessive tree trimming laid into the public utility responsible tonight. All happened during a city council meeting. J.D. Miles was inside that meeting for you, where Encore has now promised to make amends with angry homeowners as well as city leaders. The entrance to her neighborhood was so inviting to Don Rente, she recorded this video of it last fall. I look forward to every fall in our neighborhood because of the color change and the way the trees go over the road. Um, and it just, it's a different feel for any other neighborhood in Flower Mound. But that scenic drive and canopy of large trees now looks like this. After dozens of trees were severely trimmed or completely cut down earlier this month, when Encore installed new power poles as well as a transformer. We don't like to be bullied. This isn't the first time we've talked about Encore in this town council, just since I've been mayor. You clearly have no idea how important it is in Flower Mound and how much we love our trees. Flower Mound's mayor opened a public hearing during tonight's council meeting to address concerns from homeowners that Encore went too far with its harsh removal, despite having the legal right to maintain the right of way. I'm located two houses off of it. It definitely it affects my view, but it affects people's property values, my neighbor's property values. That's going to affect my properties. So I would ask you, hold Encore as accountable as you can. What I'm also worried about is the buzzing of that transformer that is in my backyard. Town leaders discussed whether they can demand Encore replace the trees that were removed. I'm really struggling to find the words to yeah. express the disgust I feel the dismay at the irreparable damage done. Encore tells CBS News Texas that it will remove the remaining stumps left behind and relocate the new transformer that now hangs over one homeowner's backyard. In a statement, the electricity provider says trees were trimmed back to meet the necessary safety clearance or distance from the new lines in all instances possible. Removed trees were limited to those directly under power lines or those that would not be able to survive the amount of trimming necessary to allow the necessary access and safe clearance. Despite the outrage expressed here by the city council and residents, there's not much more they can do other than urge Encore to show more restraint in the future. Residents who live in the Lost Canyon neighborhood say a more appropriate name for it now may be Lost Trees. In Flower Mound, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.